What's going on guys, it's Unknown Player here and this is my final loot video for the Iron Banner Clash. I'm going to be going through my Titan and my Warlocks loot that they picked up at in-match loot drops and also what they got for their rank 5 packages. I've got some really cool stuff and I'm definitely really happy about the stuff I've got so far. My loot's been pretty good, feel free to comment down below with the stuff you've gotten and how you've gotten so far with this Iron Banner and also with your thoughts of Iron Banner Clash. Do you like it, do you not? I really want to know your opinions. So to begin, we're going to go through my Warlock. As you guys know, in yesterday's video, which I talked about my Hunter's loot, I'll link it in the description if you want to watch it. But I was yet to get one of those really good, like, perfect roll snipers, the Wailerans March. But I finally managed to get one on my Warlock, which I'm super happy about. So it isn't the best one. It's pretty good, but it's not the best one you can possibly get. It's Void, which is really nice. That's quite a rare element to have. Don't really see too many of those, so it's nice to have a Void sniper rifle to hand. And the first two scopes are absolutely awful, like really, really bad. They zoom in ridiculously far, which is never good for snipers in PvP. And the last one, I got really lucky. I got the Ambush scope, which is probably one of the best looking scopes, and it handles really well too. In terms of the best scopes in general, the Short Gaze and the Long View 10 are probably the best scopes in the game. They're a little bit better because they boost the target acquisition and the range. But the Ambush is still a really nice looking scope. I'm definitely happy about that. Partial refund isn't anything special. It could be handy maybe if I'm low on ammo. And then assist has a chance to get me some extra ammo, I guess. But not something you'll see all too often. But it could be handy, especially with the reductions in special ammo. In the middle column, we've got Quick Draw, which is a nice option to have. Decent perk for snipers, but Snapshot is definitely the best perk. That's ideal because you can aim faster, but this is okay. We've also got Injection Mold, which is not that great. You definitely don't want to lose range for stability. That's not a good trade-off. But my last perk, I got very lucky and I got Small Bore, which is perfect. That boosts the stability and the range for Reload, which is an amazing trade-off. Definitely not really too fast about Reload and stability and range are two perks you can always do with having an increase of. So I'm going to go for Small Bore. And of course, the Star Perk at the end, the reason why this is such a good weapon and such a good roll is Hidden Hand. This is simply the best PvP sniper perk and it boosts the target acquisition. So an amazing weapon, really happy to have this one drop for me. So enough about this sniper, we're going to move on to the other weapons I picked up. We've got the Tormod's Bellows, which is definitely getting infused straight into the other one I bought from Saladin. It's got some really bad perks, but it's a highlight level, so I'm going to infuse it straight into one that I picked up from Saladin. Into the armor, I picked up a helmet at 290. Definitely get this mantle, nothing special about this. I've got two pairs of gauntlets for my Warlock, and these are actually pretty interesting. The 290 ones are definitely bad, and they're going to get dismantled. But 300 ones are really good. They've got Sniper Reload, which I think is one of the best perks you can get for gauntlets, simply because it's always going to be helpful and snipers are always going to be needing the extra reload speed whereas you get something like scout rifle which might be a good perk to have now in a couple months when scout rifles probably get nerfed or something else gets buffed and becomes the new best weapon in the crucible it's going to be pretty pointless to have this very specific perk on a weapon type that isn't that great anymore and i've got loads of armor that comes with hand cannon reload and pulse rifle reload and they're just not that great weapons anymore so i put having sniper rifle reload is always something that i'm going to have handy and i'm obviously a massive sniper myself so definitely a very good set of gauntlets i'm going to keep these and infuse these to be my main Finally, in terms of armor, I picked up these 295 boots. Nothing great about those. Definitely get dismantled as well. Now, let's take a look at these rank 5 packages. Some very interesting stuff that I got from these. So, for my Warlock's rank 5 package, I managed to pick up the actual class item for Iron Banner. But it came in at 319, which is just really, really good. But I feel like it's just a massive troll as well. If you guys don't know, my character is currently, my main hunter, is currently 319. And he's got everything 320 but the class item. All I need right now to be 320 in Destiny is a 320 class item. It's the only thing I'm missing. And this guy just got a 319 class item. So it's so close. I could have been literally getting 320 right now. But I got 319. So I can't really decide whether it's a really good roll because it's 319. Or if it's a massive troll because it is only 319. It's one off the max. But it's definitely a very high level. And obviously I'm going to keep it and infuse it into my stuff. And I think my Warlock is going to get a 319 class item now. So definitely a very high level there. And I really want a 320 class item at some point. Now into my Titans rank 5 package. He got pretty much the opposite. He got trolled really hard. He got 310 class item, which is the lowest thing possible. So completely useless. I'm probably just going to infuse it into something. But 310 is literally the lowest you can get. So I think it's the first 310 item I've ever gotten in one of those packages. So definitely not a very great one. And that is just about it for my loot. All in all, pretty good drops across the board. Definitely happy with some of the stuff that I've been getting. And I like this Iron Banner. Like I said, I'm always a big fan of Iron Banner Clash. Connection has been average. Definitely could have been a bit better. And I'd love to see if they actually put the new matchmaking settings and the connection referee in this mode. 
There are a lot of people on red bars that were winning gunfights. They simply shouldn't have. They were like blinking around the map. They didn't even have blink. There was like a Titan who pretty much looked like he was blinking around. He was skipping. He was unkillable and he was killing me every time. So definitely need the damage referee and I hope they kind of bring that out to a lot more aspects of the Crucible. The loot was good for me. Like I said, I got good drops and also the stuff. Saturday in my setting had very, very good perk roll. So good options right there. I think my favorite thing is that you can play Clash solo. You don't have to worry about going into a team like Rift where you can just get stomped. If you're playing solo and you need to be able to communicate, be able to win and get that spark through. So it's definitely nice to be able to play solo and hop in and casually play. Easy one of my favorite things about Clash and even Control as well is the map rotation is so much better. Simply because with Rift, there's a very limited amount of maps you can actually play. I think it's like six or seven that keep on getting rotated. It's like Cathedral of Dusk and those maps you never really like. Whereas with Clash, you can get Shores of Time, you can get Rusted Lands, but it's physically impossible to get Rift on those maps because the Rift is designed for certain maps. So maps like Shores and Rusted Lands, they're not designed for Rift, so you'll never have it. But it's nice to be able to play Clash and you have a wider variety of maps and especially some of those better year one maps. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed it, this video and leave your comments down below with your thoughts of how you thought Iron Banner has gone so far. Be sure to drop a like rating on the video if you did enjoy it. I'd appreciate that and I'll see you guys in the next video.